Hi everybody. In today's video, I want to show you a new feature that I added to my website here, pixeldatabase.net. But before I do that, I also want to announce that since it is the second half of 2021 almost, I decided to double all the limits. So now a free user can upload up to 8 megs. If you sign up, it's uh, 16 megs, and that's also free. And then uh, if you join for $10 per year, you can upload up to 40 megs. So that should cover almost any image you're going to want to use. So just wanted to make that announcement. And then also I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. I have two photos here that I'm using for headshots. They're both very pretty women, but they both have a similar flaw. The left one, of course, has too much shadow on the right-hand side of her face. And then on the one on the right, of course, the hair is in her face. She looks like Kim Bassinger to me. She's very pretty. But we're going to go ahead and get started. But I want to show you the new feature I added. So first, I'm going to upload the... I called her Margaret. I don't know why. That was just the first name that popped into my head. And this is a pretty large image. And I don't have a progress bar showing while the image is uploaded. So I've had some people tell me that it doesn't work, but it's actually just really slow depending on your internet connection. But it can take a while sometimes, so I just wanted to show you that. Now the first thing you have to do is just type update, and then we're gonna figure out where the center of her head is. So we're gonna turn the color picker on, and I'm gonna click right in about here. So if you'll notice the X is at 1569. I may uh, just see if that's the one I wanna use. I think I wanna go right above Okay, we'll go with about 1568. So just say update, split image. So that's the first uh, parameter on the next line, on the second line. And then you say take left, all one word, take left, because we're going to be taking from the left hand side and we're going to be splitting on 1569. And it does that every time. So sorry, it needs to be all on one line. I was trying to click the button to not have to type it. But so I'll just hit apply and show you what it does. And you can play around with where the center is for you, but I thought that was save you a lot of time compared to going into, you know, everybody can take, for me, it would be paint.net or if you're rich, Photoshop and, you know, crop it yourself and, you know, do all that. But I thought that was kind of a neat time saver. I'll go ahead and show you one more before we're done. And I'll just do the, I called her supermodel. This one's a really big image. Okay, and this one we're going to do take right. So we want to take from the right hand side. And turning my color picker on, I want to get about right. Yeah, 2430 is what I was using earlier, and that worked pretty well. You can, you know, adjust to whatever works the best for you. And that's my short video. I think that does a pretty good job. I mean, if you need to, you can come into paint.net and, uh, you know, and blur that or if you need you know, some other way, if there, in case there's any kind of a line. But it, that actually is better than I usually do. And I'll go ahead and download this because I definitely want to keep this one because I was going to create her as a character. So I'll just call her Supermodel. Um, well, she's already two, so I'll just call her Supermodel. Okay, and now that's the end of this part of the video. If you want to stick around, I'm going to go ahead and try to build out this character. So I'm going to open up Character Creator. So if you do stick around, if not, let me know what you think of this split image. And I'll leave the instructions in the uh, video description. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you're tuning out and if you want to stick around, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I am going to fire up Character Creator. So let me pause the video for one second. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and start the Headshot plugin. Let me go ahead and load this, and I'll just say Female, Clean and Soft, and Generate, and I'll pause it one more time and be right back. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, I am back. Let me get a sip of water or Coke. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, now, did a pretty good job. I mean, she was a beautiful character, so that does a lot of good. There's a couple little flaws I noticed, but the first thing I'm going to do 
is go ahead. My, my air conditioner is coming on, by the way, but it is summer in Houston, so it's hot at 1130 at night. So sorry, my audio quality is about to drop. But the first thing we're going to do is fix the eye blink. So I'm going to just say modify correct eye blink, which is not going to fix it, what we need. But we're going to say open close eyes. We're going to come down here to the uh, eyelid mask. Select maximum upper eyelid fill. And I'm going to update our texture. Okay, so that did a pretty good job. There's still a few little uh, places right here that need to be fixed, but we'll fix that in the editor. And also the lips have a kind of a little flaw right around the corner. So those will both be an easy fix with the blur tool. So we're not going to do too much, but I'm going to just activate the editor. Say yes. Okay, so now we'll click on skin base. Save texture. Just going to call this head. This is paint.net. If you're a Photoshop user, you're on your own. I've never been that rich. But I'm going to go ahead and just turn on the clone tool is one of my favorite features. I'm going to get us a pretty big uh, little angle, about 40. And I'm just going to try to click kind of just in here. It's, it's not going to match very well, but we're going to try to just kind of cover up some of that where it's really got a little bit of extra hair sticking through the okay it just moved on me and the only other thing here is just a little bit of that I mean she's got really long eyelashes but that's okay and then here the only thing I want to do is just try to get some of that okay and I probably messed things up just a little but that's okay most of this area long as you don't do too bad hopefully I won't mess it up that's too much if I start doing major plastic surgery I'm usually messing something up okay now all I want to do here is try to just smooth some of that out okay so I'm gonna use the the blur tool does a pretty good job of a uh, fixing so it doesn't look like it was edited by me okay so that's good enough for prime time so I'm just gonna select this little area right here and say effects let me move our I'm gonna say move selected pixels they got a little bit too much eyebrow I don't want to blur too much eyebrow and I'll just say blur surface blur <clears throat> I'm gonna crank this up a little bit I guess that's about 12 yeah somewhere in there 13 is what that is so that's unlucky well it's bad luck to be superstitious but just in case well okay so just to kind of blur that out a little just uh, anywhere I make edits I tend to do that just a little and then you can't really tell that I did too much okay yeah. repeat surface blur and the only other thing I see that's kind of I got that little rectangle there, sorry. Okay, that's about all I'm going to ah, undo that. And there's one more little bitty there. And let me just kind of blur the eyelids one time. And then kind of this area about right in there. And that's just kind of the eye socket. It doesn't really... Okay, and the only... I think that looks okay. I'll just leave that alone because if I the more I mess with it, the more I mess it up generally. And I just want to fix that one little thing on the corner. Okay. Same with on this side. Not even gonna do too much. So. Okay. So all I wanted to do was just not have that big corner sticking out. I'm going to just 
do a little blur right in there. And a little blur right in there. I'm gonna blur that just a little. That's just where the shadow of her uh, lip under curve is. That's fine. I'm gonna just save that, see what this looks like. And I'll just call this head two. Okay. And then we'll apply this. That looks a little better. Another time. Probably could fix that a little better, but let me see if I do the I think it's already been done, but Okay. We'll just open the eyes, see what it looks like. Alright, that's fine. I haven't put eyelashes on her, but she's got pretty good eyelashes just from from the headshot plugin. So let me do her open closed teeth, I mean open mouth. Or let me exit the editor. Okay. Yeah, kind of messed up her eye a little bit there, but it was, I mean, it was already messed up a little, a little bit, I guess, but, okay, I'm going to do the open, closed mouth, look at her teeth, I'm going to switch out her teeth with the human anatomy teeth, which I've got in my, where's teeth, there, Okay, and she's a female athletic, so that'll probably be, might be what's already there. Alright, that's fine. Open, close, mouth. You gotta do that twice sometimes. Women don't like to have their, excuse me, if there's any women listening, but, sorry, a joke just came to mind, but women don't tend to close their mouths because you tell them to. Sorry, but if that wasn't funny to you, but I thought it was. Okay, so now we're going to put some hair on her. Which, this is where all my characters start looking alike when you start putting hair on them, but... Let's see... Uh, I, I wish there was more smart hair. I'm hoping it comes out very soon. Let's see what that looks like. It's gonna look nothing like my headshot plugin, but... That actress is so pretty. If I look at the headshot plugin, what is... I've already messed up her hair, but the closest I've got to that with the smart hair is this one, and I don't know, I've had mixed results with this one, I tend to, yeah, I, I don't I don't know what it is, there's something about that hair just doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look natural, I don't know what it is, it, you know, some of the others just bring out the face a lot better, see what that looks like, that looks like a, not really a boy, but looks like a young girl or a tomboy or something. But so, uh, we'll just put her in our classic bun. Mm. They start looking not as pretty if you don't have the right hair on them. So that's the one thing I wish I had a little bit more hair. I'll go ahead and just put this on. I've got so many characters I've used something like this on, but this girl's so pretty though that at least it, she looks still looks pretty good. Okay, the only thing I want to do now is her hair. Her eyes, uh, those are pretty eyes, but I tend to like the good my AC went off. Oh, that's a mixed good. All right, so what I want to do with the eyes, go to here. Not eyelash, eyes. Okay, and we'll stick to the female athletic. Okay, that looks pretty good. I might, I can adjust the eyeball scale. We can go to here, go to eye. There's an eyeball scale. Yeah, there it is. Just go down just a little. Just to, I don't want the eyes being too big in their head. It looks kind of weird sometimes. Okay, now the other things I want to do is the full head. The depth of the head to me and almost all the characters 
is too uh, narrow or too just not that big so the head scale I usually up it a little bit like 12 I don't want it to be too big but and then the head depth that's the one that seems to for some reason that just looks a little more natural and then the face depth there's even a uh, face has its own depth which sometimes I crank that up just a little and it just I don't know why but sometimes it just seems to bring out the character a little better and then the width of the face let me see sometimes the lower the face lower depth that's the other one sometimes it tends to make the you know because sometimes I've seen a lot of the characters their face just they'll be beautiful women as far as like the face but every the dimensions just get kind of like out of whack a little bit and I'll increase the center depth a little that might too much and then the upper depth about six or something okay let me find the width for the head see if I can find how many yeah we'll go we'll crank this up a little bit okay I don't know. that's about all we need to do now we'll her breast I don't have to this probably violates some YouTube services but this is like my favorite part of a character creator being able to you know turn them into whatever size breast I would love to be able to I'm sure your exes may not have been very happy if I just said honey let's make your boobs bigger tonight or smaller yeah. all right so just going to breast let's see get out of head go out here to chest and then breast okay get rid of width all right, so breast scale. I don't know. Her breasts look pretty good. Without doing our best, breast proximity is one that I like to. Let me find the. Yeah. Sometimes just it's a little. I don't know. Maybe that's too much. I'll go with like. 20. Okay. All right, and then there's a height, I think. Something just happened. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I just hit the control G or something. I was looking, let's go back to our little sliders. And I was on breast. Okay, it's not there. It's not chest scale. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do too much couple things maybe the glute make her a little uh, skinnier she's a pretty healthy chick and then make her waist a little uh, smaller All right, and we'll go with abdomen width down a little oh, that's this is one of those backwards sliders for some reason you got to go up I don't want to go too narrow but there it's kind of backwards uh, waistline I don't know what that looks like yeah. abdomen depth she's not real fat all right uh, I'm just reading some of these as we go so sorry this isn't a uh, very planned from here I was just trying to okay and then the only thing I want to do from there is we'll go to let me go to the legs and we'll make her not too take the thigh scale down she's pretty toned though we want her to be athletic Let's see, like thin, a little bit, not too much. Don't want her to be anorexic, but don't need her to be a big legged woman either. All right, and that all, we might take the leg length down. Her legs look pretty big, but I guess she's a pretty. Okay, and then the, I think the torso. Where's there's torso? 
torso. Let's see if there's a height or scale. Hang on. Okay, neither of those. I was just seeing what we got there. All right, that seems to be enough. We're gonna go ahead and just dress her and we'll be done. So now what I wanna do is put a shirt on her. So we'll go over to shirts and I'll just pick plain base and do my favorite little t-shirt. Fit body shape, default. Okay, and I'm not going to make a shirt. I'm just going to grab one. So I'll go to my shirts folder because I've got a few that I've made even though I didn't do the video. Let's see, where's one I made that recently that I liked? Let's see what this looks like. Okay, I don't like that, but I haven't done the specular down to about eight and the glossiness is going to be up but i still don't like that color for her so that was just a first draft let's see something else that what is that sorry i was just looking at something on i find stuff all the time on my hard drive i don't remember doing but all right, so we'll just pick. I'm going to go with this. Okay, but to make that look a diff little different, we're going to go over here to invert. And that'll be, I used something like this for my Janet Yellen shirt, but we'll, we'll do a little uh, bit of changing the colors up a little. Yeah, we'll go with. And since we're inverted, if we want to make it darker, we'll go that way. Let's see. Not sure I like inverted. It's just a thought. Okay. So now that I hate this, We'll go get one more image try before I give up. Sorry, this isn't going well on my image grabbing. I'll just, uh, let's, um, guess we'll just put a, all right. And then that will turn into some chicky colored shirt. That looks better. Okay. Sorry, but I'm not very good at picking out girls clothes apparently. All right. Now we're going to put some shorts on her summertime. Uh, go to pants. It's fine. Okay. So we got that. And then next, I am going to, for shoes, in my custom folder, I made this the other day, this uh, men's flip-flop, but women can wear men's flip-flops i don't think she'll uh mind the the color matches her sh shorts anyway so i don't know i think it turns out pretty good i would uh I, I can tell this girl's like without a doubt you know too pretty for me but when i was younger I spent a lot of money on things like this so anyway that was my video let me know your thoughts on the uh little split image thing I wrote today. I thought that uh, was a pretty neat little feature without spending too much time. You know, it makes the face very symmetrical, but if you look at, you know, all the really famous pretty people like Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts and all them, they're all very symmetrical people. So anyway, thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts. Have a great day.